So, got a 1978 Evinrude V4. It's an 85 horse. Has manual tilt. And looking to upgrade this to hydraulic. If you're in the same boat as me, or maybe a very similar boat with the same engine, you want to be looking at uh, putting some tilt and trim onto your motor as well. So, first thing you got to do is pick up one of these units. This one's actually off of a 235 horsepower V6, actually out of a Johnson, but uh, they're pretty much all the same. I put some primer coat on it. The uh, tilt cylinder is this big one. Trim cylinder are these two down here. I put tape over them. Uh, motor and fluid reservoir on the other side. Basically, you just need that unit and all the rest of the mounting hardware that comes with your engine will work just fine in order to be able to install it. <clears throat> I had bought mine and it came with the arms off of the 235. As you can see, that's what came off of it. Um, but I found out it's pretty much all the same bolting. Uh, you got a, a pin that goes through your center tilt. Uh, that was kind of hard to get out. And then you got a couple of screws that hold the, uh, the motor and the trim cylinders in. And uh, the screws go through each side, or rather bolts go through each side. Um, but they got all the same holes on the manual tilt. So they'll just bolt back in to the same locations on uh, both. The one thing though that the manual tilt has that the hydraulic doesn't on the back side of these there's a little tab that's supposed to be for holding the spring and you can see it there that tab there's one on each side those got to be taken off and replaced with a thrust block so thrust block this old doohickey here basically it's for your trim cylinder to push into Whereas those tabs are for the uh, springs to uh, push up against, or to pull the, uh, the lock shut. This is the pin that came out of my top cylinder. It's a little bit, a little bit pivot, but it, it'll probably work for me for now. Gotta paint up some more parts here. Um, so that's the physical side to get everything mounted physically. The next stage is electronics. So I went and picked up off of eBay another Johnson Evinrude system. This is out of a 1990, I think. Um, and hindsight, I probably should have got one a little bit older just because the connectors are different. So I'll be having to get different connectors now. Um, but the wiring is all the same, which is good. You got your, uh, sorry, these two go to the uh, tilt trim cylinder. <clears throat> I got a two-wire system, so I got a two-wire controller. You can get a three-wire controller to go with a three-wire tilt trim motor. Um, but to make things simple, these are more uh, easily available. I went with that. Pretty sure these two wires go to a local switch you can install. Uh, that's not required. If you want to put a switch on the body of the motor, a lot of the newer Johnsons and Evinrude's had that. You can install that. If you don't, don't worry about it. This is the connector that goes up into your, uh, I guess, uh, throttle control in your boat. The back two wires are your position sender. So the black and the white there is for power trim. No, not sorry. Is for the power tilt. Uh, indicator sensor to be able to tell how far you are and then the green red blue is the three wires that go to your uh, actual um, button the toggle switch to go up or down and then this one is the other end of the black and white and is the other end of the uh, 
<clears throat> position sensor, which uh, mine actually it came with a busted sensor. This uh, arm here is snapped off, but that's your position position sensor. You know, it's got this ground plug, two wires. I could probably just replace this plastic piece. I don't think they cost too much to get, but I'm not really going to use it. So, and you don't need the gauge to tell you your trim position. It's just uh, if you don't want to turn around to look at your motor. Uh, that's about it, though. Inside here, there's two relays and a little uh, jumper box. If you look inside your repair manual, you'll see how they're supposed to be wired. I haven't honestly figured out on this one how I'm going to have to rewire it. The uh, 1990 wiring harness came with uh, these two connectors. Come off the red plug, which my 78 harness doesn't have. So I might have to figure out if it's just this. If I just need to take a power tap off of here or if I need to be doing uh, some of these other wires but I can make up uh, you know just a, a short piece with a connector here to jump into that box all right so now I got everything finished up so you can see the motors all painted now um, I mounted the controller box up top uh, here as you can see and what I did is I just JB welded two bolts on the one being there The other one's kind of under there. You can't really see it um, and then They come through the original mounting positions in the box and it's rubber mounted so it doesn't vibrate uh, I think that turned out pretty well the uh, JB weld I had to kind of take the paint off of the block in order to get the stick well But it's been holding up pretty well after that um, so Basically what you got to do is you have to have power come into this in two different locations for the 91. Um, one being this post and the second being here. So you can see those are the, the new wire. Everything else is just uh, from the factory, um, how it's supposed to go. And both of those powers uh, just hook up right to battery power. So uh, I'm on the, actually on the other side of the solenoid, I think. Um, if I remember correctly, power comes in. Somewhere else, I thought. Well, maybe it comes in here. I guess this is main power in. And then it jumps to the starter here. Yeah, I think that's right. So, oh, I took off the battery cable. That's right, because this motor's not mounted on the engine anymore. Yeah, so main battery power comes in here. Uh, the harness and the tilt trim go on straight off battery power. So the second you turn on power to the batteries, to the motor, the tilt trim has its power to run the unit. I think it's like 16 gauge wire. Um, and then the other thing you gotta do is I swapped out the connector. Remember I said this the wrong connector, so I bought the right connector and the two little terminals for it, crimped them on, slid the connector on, and then the, um, the 1985 connector could plug right in. Um, and it does work. I mean, I have the motor off the boat, so I can't show you right now, but uh, it works perfectly fine. Um, everything turned out nice, painted up well. Uh, you, I mean, you can't see it in there, but uh, yeah, it works great. Uh, mismatch of parts, they all work the same. So, you guys are looking to add it on the cheap. Maybe it's 150, 200 bucks, but I think it's well worth it to be able to trim out your motor while you're running.